Hello, hi, I'm Christian Geek of the Habit, and this is Mythic Ocean Prologue. Now, Mythic Ocean is a narrative exploration game in which you go around this magical underwater world and you meet all sorts of creatures and end up making choices that will change the universe forever. Now, the prologue is kind of like a demo version for the full game, which is coming out in 2020. So, let's uh, check out the prologue together. New game. Um, yes, we'll lose that. That's fine. I'm fine with losing from the previous playthrough, it's fine. Hey! It's me, Ill. Come on, wake up! I'm sick of waiting for you! Can't do this on my own, buddy! Oh. Finally awake, huh? What? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, I know, your memories are gone. Don't worry about it. Right now, we gotta find our old friends. We need our help again. Old friends? Why don't I remember any of this? Just puzzle your arrangement, buddy. It's how we always uh, have done things. It, it just works. I get to guide you and make sure you know what's up. You get to make your choices without the burden of knowing what's come before. And, well, it's better if you're the one making the choices. Trust me on that. <laughs> Let's get moving, huh? I wanna see what happens this time. Alright. So now we've... I guess woken up in this cave. We can go around... Can I go all the way up? Let's see. Let's see if we can get out of the water. Oh. Oh, okay. There's nothing here. Well, let's go down. Find that eel again. Hmm. Interesting. So someone built something around here. A temple? Okay. Maybe some humans were here or someone else built it? Some other type of intelligent creature? I mean, I'm sure the eels haven't built any of this. Huh. This actually looks pretty cool. Let's go up, because I want to see if there's anything up there. I mean, there's light, so... <gasps> oh, come on! Okay. Okay, I guess we're not going to see the sun just yet. Let's go inside. Follow the eel. Just fall the freaking eel. Maybe this is Atlantis, who knows? Who knows, I don't even know what I am. And here are all friends. The gods of this ocean. What the crew, huh? You've got two gods whose anger and kindness are at odds. And a god whose appetite and curiosity are limitless. A god of friendship, reverie, and joy without care. A god determined to chart the universe and unlock its secrets at any cost. A god who gathers knowledge and keeps a watchful gaze. And of course, this handsome serpent. Best looking one in the whole bunch, right? Uh, that looks fresh, is that you? <laughs> yeah, it took me ages, can't you tell? So, which one of these gods is gonna create the new world this time? All depends what advice you give him, and what uh, and that part's up to you. But uh, you never know who'll be the next creator, or what kind of world they'll make. That's my favorite part. That's my favorite part, you know. Even after all this time, it's still hard to predict. Anyway, this will all make more sense soon enough. Just find the gods. You'll define. As for me. I'll be in the cave in the Eel Kingdom, as always. Stop by sometime, we can talk things over. Whether they're going well or not so well, <laughs> just, you know, come talk to me. It's good to have you back, buddy. Things are much more interesting with you around. Okay, but what am I? Am, am I a, another Eel? What the hell am I? So these are the five gods, huh? Hmm. 
It's a pretty rough thing. Okay. I guess we're gonna go and start meeting some gods. How that works. Oh, you again? All oh, right, almost forgot. You're gonna want to take this thing with you. It's a teleporter. You can only use it to visit certain folks you've already met, though. Uh, it'll give you some other useful information, too. Take a look. You'll see what I mean. Catch you later. Okay. Use teleporter. Okay. So we have the eel here and the other god, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Mm, I guess we're gonna go up. We're going up. Let's get out of here. Ooh, I see the light. Well, I see some light. Hold left click to use your sonar. Your sonar helps you discover new areas and find characters you can talk to. Try it now until the bar fills up. Okay. That's pretty cool. Sonar lets you locate characters and locations through walls. Make sure to use it often. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Ah, open space. Ooh. Kelp forest, coral reef, moss cavern. What's this? Oh, look, they're little worms. Hey, you. You're all by yourself? I always wonder about that. What's it like? Um... A bit lonely, I enjoy my solitude. I don't know, never really thought about it much. Really? I can't help about... Uh, I can't help thinking about it. The idea of being by myself all the time just seems kinda sad. Not to mention boring and weird. <laughs> okay, well you have your friends here, so... Uh, oh, more... Ah, here it is, listen! It's the sound of all of us, waving in the water, singing in perfect unison. Your melody is the same as ever, yet it's different now that it's combined with ours. Isn't that something? I guess... I don't think these are the smartest uh, tools in the shed. Ooh, another eel! Hi, eel! Duke. Hmm, you don't smell familiar. Since you've just arrived, here's some advice. When you meet someone for the first time, always trust your nose. If they smell good, get to know them better. And if they smell funny, well, I'll leave that up to you. Okay. Okay, let's go up. I want to see what's up here. <gasps> oh, it's actually... Okay, wait, wait. Oh, nice. You can see the sky and the sun. Okay, that's nice. I like that. So this is where we came from. Hell forest, coral reef, another fish here. Hello fishy! Whoa, 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 whoa. Once in a while, I'll have a dream about turtles. They're all grazing in a field of seagrass, looking for, uh, looking so very peaceful. I feel like it's something I've seen somewhere, but I can't place it. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for turtles. See you around. I guess. What's that? Huh. What the hell is this place? Library. Era 1, Section 2. Mortal Concerns. A civilization is growing around us. The creator comes to me for advice. Which is more valuable to the mortals? The freedom to do as they please? or the peace of mind in knowing they are protected. I respond with my own question. Does providing one mean you can't afford the other? You found a page. Pages contain the history of a world that existed long ago. Find other pages to put the story back together. Huh. Oh, so this is what we have the... Okay, okay, that's cool. Let's go... Are we back? Yeah, we're back here, nice! Wait, is this another one? Oh yeah, another one! Another page! Huh... Oh, this one's on the floor, wait... 
Era 1, Section 1, the, okay, the beginning. At dawn on the first day of the new world, I ask the creator about their plans. They tell me I want my world to guarantee the safety of all mortals. Uh, that's... okay. It seems like a good place to start, but I wonder if they realize how difficult this will be. You know? If you give up some liberty for safety, you'll, you'll end up having none, right? Okay, that was cool. Um, so, okay, so we found two out of three here. Okay. So there's one more page somewhere. Oh, hello, little fish. Oh, wait. Mind if I tell you a secret? I've never been to a party. Oh, I've always wanted to, but it's gonna be the right one, you know? Real crazy. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for a party, I guess. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I hear voices. That means another memory. Well, not another memory. Another, yeah, technically another memory, right? Hello. Turning point. The creator and I watch the mortals wage wars. Their technology is advanced enough now that a large-scale conflict could destroy the world. When they govern themselves, this is the result, the creator says. It's time to intervene. Interesting. That may That's maybe a parallel to our world now. We have the possibility of doing that, so... Well, yeah, but we don't have a creator that intervenes. We just have other people that want to control others. Uh, okay, let's go here. Is that uh, our eel friend? Oh, yeah. Like an altar? Wow, okay. Oh, destroyed. Huh. So these are the gods, I guess. Hello, dude. Well, look who it is. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. I like having company once in a while. It gets boring when I'm by myself for too long. Can't you go out and talk to other people? That's not part of the arrangement, my friend. Never has been. I'm just here to observe and remember. It's been that uh, it's been that way for a long time. That's why I like talking to you about what happens with the gods. Gives me something to ponder and comment on. So you already know who all the gods are, right? Yep, I do. I've known them for as long as I've known you. But I'm not gonna tell you anything else about them. Better if you discover that all by yourself. You can ask me other questions though. I'll answer what I can. Alright. So, are you a god like the others? Heh, <laughs> well, the simple answer is no, I'm not. The more complicated answer is I used to be one. A long, long time ago. I um, didn't handle it well. Not something I like to talk about these days. Wait, how come you're not a god anymore? I told you I don't like talking about it. Please? <sighs> I'll think about it. Ask me again later. Maybe I'll change my mind. Hmm. Okay, so how will the god who creates the world be chosen? Never knew exactly how it worked, but when you say certain things, the gods seem to get more motivated, you know? Like when you agree with them or make them see something differently. I think it might be whichever god's the most motivated in the end. So, do the gods know their gods? Do they know about the new world? Nope. You've probably noticed by now if you've talked to them enough. They won't even understand it, buddy. You could try to tell them, but why would they believe you? Yeah, it'd probably ruin the whole process they knew anyway. So, how do we know when it's time for the new world to be born? See those tablets in there? The ones with all the symbols carved into them? Have a look at them. They'll give you some hints about where all this is headed and when it's gonna get there. Okay. Thanks for the info. See you around. Alright, till next time, buddy. You know what, maybe, I'm, I'm thinking maybe this, this eel, I don't know, maybe it's not, it's not exactly my buddy, you know? 
I don't know, I'm still suspicious of this eel. Because it's an eel. And eels are... Well, it's not their fault, they're just weird. Kelp forest, coral reef... Uh, okay, let's go to the moss cavern, I guess. So we talked to every fish here, and we found all the pages, okay. Let's go, to the, go here and find out... Travel to the moss cavern, alright. And find the first god, I guess. Okay. Uh, can I go up? Okay, so it is a cavern. Ooh! Quite a few shining things around here. Oh! Wait! Hello! Hello, hidden library of knowledge. What do we have here? More history? Era 2, Section 1, Oversight. The creative solution for society's ills is simple. Put laws into place and enforce them vigorously. Plans are made to monitor the mortals more closely and deliver quick, severe punishments for any transgressions. So basically a police state. Totalitarian, probably. I mentioned this will come at the sacrifice of day-to-day -day comfort and happiness for the mortals. The creator doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, because he's just another authoritarian. Hmm, alright. Alright. Back into the cavern. Let's see what we got here. What's here? Oh, what are these guys? <laughs> what the hell? Starlight, star bright. So mesmerizing. Um. Okay. Look at all the stars. We're so lucky to get to look at them like this. Aren't they beautiful? I agree they're pretty. I don't think... Uh, let's not burst their bubble. I agree. They're very pretty. You can stay here and admire them with us if you want. Sure, but I have a mission. We have things to do. Uh... Oh, what the hell? Oh, there are multiple... Hey, are you good to eat? Lots of things that come to us uh, for our pretty lights are very tasty. Maybe not you though. Oh, okay. I've never been... I've never eaten before. None of us over here have. Always wonder what it's like. <laughs> it's okay that's one plant with multiple parts. D did you like our pretty lights? It's hard to ignore them, I know. Feel free to come a little closer. Nah, 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 I'm not getting closer because you eat other stuff. Someone bumped into us pretty hard recently. It was a bad one. A bunch of us broke off. Zane, Zayra, Zed. Never saw him again. So yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> That's actually cute. Sometimes I feel like we just don't get enough credit on the bottom here. It's a lot of work supporting everyone else all day. <laughs> okay. Alright. Sure. Uh, what's here? Hello. Oh, what the hell? Camel. Can't see me! Nothing but a rock here. Talking to a rock. That's what you're doing. What? Is someone hiding in here? It kind of looks like they are, right? Huh. Look, I get it, rocks are great listeners. But can you scram? I'm trying to blend in here. Maybe it is a rock though. Huh. Maybe we can talk to it later? Like you can, I don't know, maybe it's a, a fish hiding in there? Huh. Oh? Ah, hello. Sneaky. Once you hear the whispers, you know you're close to one of these portals to the library. Okay. Era 2, Section 3, Predestination. Each mortal, mortal is now assigned a job by the creator and works the same one until they retire or die. 
That, that sounds fun. The new society is very in, uh, industrious. Technology has advanced in leaps and bounds. But I know there are those who disagree with all of this. Well, yeah, I would disagree because if, if someone would have the job from the beginning until they die, they wouldn't be as productive and you wouldn't find other people who would be, you know, uh, really good at something. Because it's all predestined. What the hell? Hunger! Food! Empty! Must find new food! Whoa! Don't eat me! Oh, it's a kid! Hello! New one! Unfamiliar! New one food, maybe? Uh, if you're referring to me, no, I'm not your food. Hmm. No. New one in food, not same. So, do you have a name, little guy? Mm. It's a word, a word people use when they're talking about you. This one has no such word, name, empty. But sometimes words come to this one while sleeping. This one likes word Lutra best. Name no longer empty. Name Lutra. Oh, okay. Hi, Lutra. New food still needed. Okay, Lutra, where did your food go? This one eats food inside pod. But pod empty now. Uncertainty. Well, maybe it's time for you to hibernate? It's like sleeping for a long time until there's food again. Sleep? Long time? No. Hunger too great. Much too great. Okay, what kind of food do you eat? Food and pod, many leaves, blue and purple. Also, very favorable taste. Um, have you tried eating anything else? This one tries pod as food. Pod very tough though, unfavorable taste. There's some fur inside the pod that seem familiar to how you describe them. Mm, yes, leaves outside, same as inside. But risk outside, very great. New one brings leaves here. Um, uh, I could, but I won't always be here. You need to be able to eat on your own. But this one has fear. Don't worry, I'll be right here. Nothing bad will happen. Come on, I'll guard you. There's no one around. Come on, little guy. Oh, look how cute it is. Come on. Yes, eat. There we go. Nice! You got food? Oh, more whispers? Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna talk to that little guy, but first... We have some whispers in the dark here. Where's the page? Oh, here we are. Era 2. Section 2. Peace and Prosperity. War is a thing of the past now, everyone's basic needs are always met, and even minor sickness is very rare. The mortals have little privacy, however, and the most trivial crime can ruin a person's life. Hashtag cancel culture. But they're safe, they live long, healthy lives. The creator has brought about the, word, the world they wished for. But who wished for it? The creator wished for it, right? Not the people. That's right? Because the creator wanted that. Right? It's a cool pod. So this is one of the gods, I guess? Wow, this looks nice! Cozy! Okay, little guy. Let's chat some more. <laughs> is he cute? No hunger? No hunger! <laughs> um, where did you come from? This one comes from pod. Right, but before that. Before? Darkness, many lights. Uncertainty, maybe just sleep thoughts? Hmm, okay. Has anyone else, uh, has anyone else visited you besides me? Others from outside cave sometimes appear and talk. Furry one, two that are one. Understanding of these ones is difficult. Words of furry one and two that are one, not familiar. But thoughts arrive now. 
Not firm thoughts, new thoughts. Exhaustion follows, sleep ensues. Do you dream when you sleep? Yes, while body sleeps, thoughts still alive. Maybe dreams now? <laughs> I don't think no, I don't think you're dreaming. This feels pretty real to me. Yes, not dreams now. Awake, but still strange. So what do you normally dream about? Oh new fable growing pains. Some dreams show far places, not cave, no ferns, far and strange. Water ends in open space. Big empty dark space begins. Oh, you mean actual space. So this is the world with all the water, right? And after that, the planet, right? It's covered in water. So many small lights. One big light. Stars? A sun? Maybe? Uh, maybe there's other worlds out there with creatures much like us, but different. Oh, many thoughts. Different worlds. Exploring. Seeing big and small lights someday. Hopefulness. Eagerness. So, I guess that was like... Kind of like an evolution of it? That's the spirit. I think you'll you get there someday. Any other dreams worth mentioning? Dreams sometimes show others. Same body, same mind. Also eat ferns, speak with thoughts, always hunting. Some not crawling, flying through water instead. Huh. Maybe... The mature version of Lutra? Is something that's not crawling anymore. It, it will go into something that swims. These dreams, less loneliness. Huh. There might be others like you out there. Why not leave the cave and search for them? Leave cave never. Ferns in cave, favorable. Ferns outside, cave also? Um. Hmm. I haven't seen many, but if you go looking, maybe you'll find much more food somewhere else. Much risk, ferns necessary, all ends without, why beyond if no certainty, here certainty! Hmm, well, there is a chance something even better is out there if you're willing to take that risk. Dreams arrive sometimes, open space beyond water with big lights and small lights, but travel not possible, too small, too slow, too hungry. Hmm. Okay, maybe now not the best. Not it's not the best time. But once you've grown stronger, I bet you'll be ready. Ah, yes. See, nice. Strong feelings, fear, hopefulness, impatience. Also, travel possible someday, but long way necessary. Unfavorable. Well, uh, keep at it and don't give up. Want to talk about something else? Let's see. Does it get lonely in this big cave? Sometimes others appear, 41, two that are one, always gone soon. Loneliness follows, but hunger greater before, maybe loneliness greater now? Hmm. Mm, can you remember ever seeing other creatures like yourself? Only dreams show others like this one, same body, same mind, strong wishful thoughts, but still never beyond dreams. Hmm. Perhaps they're out there somewhere, searching for you? Whatever your kind is. Searching? Beacon? Like open dream space, big light as beacon. But not possible now. Much thought necessary. Um, okay, whatever that means. I think it's worth a try. Like, going to find someone else like you. Uh, tell me what you think of the furry one. And whoever that is. Very fast, many words. Understanding difficult. Not certain which way furry one, not exhausted always. <laughs> hunting familiar, with furry one, hunts moving things, different from hunting ferns, but still similar. Maybe similar dreams too? Well, I don't know. Maybe the furry one dreams too, yeah? Could be. Mm, let's see. Tell me what you think of the two that are one. Maybe that's the god with like two personalities? Less fast, less words than 41, but understanding still difficult. Danger, sometimes. Two that are one, not careful always. Confusion also. Pain thoughts, pain feelings, but nothing hunts two that are one, so why? I'm not sure why either. Why would they be afraid, I guess? Hmm. Okay, little guy, have to go. 
Nice. Okay. So we have... We found our first god. Okay. Now we need to go maybe somewhere else. Kelp Forest. Eel Kingdom. Color Reef. So no, the Eel Kingdom, that's where we came from, right? We came from the Eel Kingdom. Let's go to the forest, maybe? Yeah, let's go to the Kelp Forest. Whatever that is. More open space. This actually looks nice. Oh, I need to, okay. So it's a it's a different area that needs to load, okay. Huh. Is this the furry one? Kinda looks like it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah! Dancing to the beat! Whoa! Oh hey there, stranger! Never seen you before. How do you find a party? You know what? Scratch that. Forget I asked. Everyone's welcome to the forest no matter how they got here. Let's talk somewhere else a little quieter, huh? Follow me! Wait... Coral Reef... There's so much more life here! Wait... Okay... We got another one of these. You know what, Let, let's explore the Coral Reef first before we talk to this... Uh, to the furry one, which I guess is another god. Era 4, Section 1 Panopticon Everyone's being watched now. The creator's eyes are everywhere. Technological marvels allow the mortals to visit stunningly realistic vi virtual worlds, but the creator is tracking their behavior even in these simulated spaces. There's no escape from the surveillance. That sounds familiar. You can't even go in a game and have some peace and quiet and privacy. Okay, so th that's where I came from. Let's uh, look around a little bit. So much life here, though. A lot more fish. Hey, it must be a lucky day, buddy. You didn't know me before, but now you do. You're talking to the life of the party right here. Ask anyone else in the forest. They'll tell you. Okay. I believe you. Of course you do. You know, you know a hot shot when you see one, right? Have a good time here, pal. You deserve it. Flash. Huh. Oh, look, there are uh, seahorses too. Why, hello. Poor thing. You've never met me before, have you? I'm the life of the party around here, my dear. There's no celebration if I'm not present, and don't you forget it. I thought that the little fish there, Flash, was the life of the party. You thought who was? Utter rubbish. Don't believe lies like that, they'll rot your head. I'm the only one, dear. Take my word for it. Okay. Alright, weirdos. Hey, hey crabs. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to travel to the moss cave. Wow. Whoa. Whoa! No! Wait! Dolphin! <laughs> he took the little thingy! Okay. That's kinda cute actually that the dolphin stole the... Well, it didn't steal it, but you know, it pushed it. Stifled visions. The mortals aren't allowed ownership of their ideas anymore. All new inventions and processes are to be developed by the creator and, the, and their closest associates only. I know people who wish to fight this, but they're too scared. The consequences will be too severe. I can't blame them. See? It all started all nicely. You know. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Okay. Coral Reef. Let's see what else we got here. Eel Kingdom. What am I hearing? What's that? Uh... Now I wanna go to the coral reef. I wanna find. Whoa! 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 What the? Oh, there it is. Come on, 
Wow! Nice. <laughs> it's really good that I was outside. And I guess I was pushed by... Okay, here we are. The last note probably here. Unanswered questions. There's a secret place in this world where mortals are sent. They go because they've broken the creator's rules one too many times and then don't come back. The gulags. They do different kinds of work there. Oh yeah, it is a gulag. Work camp, basically. You work yourself to death. The creator won't tell me any more than this. Yeah, of course, because if, if it got out, then the people would rebel, probably. But that's so cool. It's so cool here. Look. There's actual, there's actual trees here. Hey. What else do we have here? Huh. Hey, hi, dude. Don't you just hate dolphins? They think they're so great and everyone should be overjoyed to see every silly little, every silly, silly little thing they do. You wanna say bad stuff about them behind their back? Uh... Oh? Bold choice. You can insult one to its face instead. Why don't you tell that dolphin over there that I hate its clicks and it will never beat me in a fight. Why are you so mean, dude? Hey, Krabby! Hey, buddy! Welcome to the zone! Wait, is it breakdancing? There's only one rule here, always have fun! If I catch you not having fun, well, you'll be in trouble, okay? <laughs> okay... Alright... Oh, the dolphin. Flip! Oh, of course it's Flip. Hey there, I'm just getting in my day, uh, daily daylight uh, delight routine. Couple of splishes and some splashes, throw in a few flips and tricks. That's fitness that puts a smile on your face. Okay, well, you know what? The swordfish over there says it hates your clicks and you would never beat it in a fight. My flips are sick and I'm a delight? Why, thank you! Tell the swordfish I very much appreciate its kind compliment. Wait, is it playing dumb or is it like dumb? <laughs> I guess we're gonna report back? Did you tell that dolphin what we think of it yet? It actually misheard me and thought it was a compliment. Ugh, I figured that might happen. Dolphins only hear what they want to hear, you know? Let's try again. Tell that dolphin to get a real job. What? But it's a dolphin. Dolphins don't have jobs. Dolphins are just, you know, they live their life. No job. Oh, hi. Uh, so, the swordfish over there says to get a real job. Can I do a head bob? Yes, yes, of course I can. <laughs> Tell the swordfish I'm thankful for all its interest in me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not gonna go well. Another misunderstanding in the sea. Oops, sorry. Wait. Did you tell... Uh, did you try telling the dolphin what we think of it again? Yeah, it still misheard me. It thinks you're interested in it now. Ugh, dolphins. They are the worst. <laughs> okay, dude. Stop hating, man. Wow. Nice. Or if no, uh, did we find everything around here? Let's see. Yeah, found found all the fish to talk to and all the okay, and all the pages. So let's talk to I guess the furry one. This would be the furry one. It kind of looks like a like a beaver maybe something like that. Like an otter? No, an otter. More like an otter with three eyes and more than enough limbs. Ah, that's better. I love being in a big crowd, but sometimes it's nice to take a break too, you know? Oh, I'm Omar, by the way. I've got a game, I like to play with people I've just met. You up for it? Maybe? What kind of game? It's pretty simple. I have some fun questions I want to ask you to get to know you better. I'll tell you my thoughts on each one, so you'll get to know me better too. Just answer in the way that fits you best. Don't think about it too much. Okay. I'm ready. Shoot. Great. Now which one should we start with? Ah, okay, I got it. 
What's your perfect vacation? Let's see, going to a far away place I've never been to before, getting lots of quality time to myself, doesn't matter as long as I get to be with friends and family. Hmm. I don't know, maybe going to a faraway place? You know, I've uh, I thought about taking trips like that too, but I almost always chicken out. I've lived the forest a few times, but honestly, there's so much to do here that I don't really have to. It's a lot of work after all. So, sea urchins, crabs, or kelp? Ah, uh, probably kelp. I like a nice fresh salad, urchins for sure. I think crabs are cute. I think crabs are cute, yeah. Cute? I meant for eating, you goof. Though, to be fair, they, you are correct. Crabs are sometimes very adorable. And always quite delicious. Okay, what's up next? Let's see. Yeah, this is a good one. What's something you struggle with sometimes? I overanalyze things. I can be a little impulsive. I get lonely easily. I don't know, I overanalyze things? Uh, that's something I never have uh, trouble with, believe it or not. Whenever possible, I prefer to just go with the flow. If I ever catch uh, myself thinking too hard, I stop. Try it sometimes. Okay, how about this? Deep sea diving, coral reef sightseeing, or floating on your back with the sun on your belly. Um, deep sea diving, sounds exciting, yeah. You know, because there's a lot of undiscovered stuff down there. Oh, I don't know though, friend. Aren't the cold deep waters scary to you at all? We have no idea what kind of monsters are down there, what they like to eat. I'll stay here where we have warm, bright sunshine, thanks. Let's see, I'm gonna give you a couple of uh, slightly heavy ones now. What does it take to change your viewpoint on something? Let's see, someone close to me has to make me see it another way. I need enough hard evidence to convince me, I don't usually change my mind unless I absolutely have to. I need hard evidence. Hmm, I don't know, I find myself more motivated by feelings than cold data, I think. That said, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't stubborn, so sometimes that's not enough either. Alright, we are down to the last one. Okay, that's a lot of interrogation. Some people like to say life is a game. You've heard that before, right? So if you could add one rule to the game, what would it be? Let's see, the strong aren't allowed to use their powers to oppress the weak. That's like, that sounds like something someone in a liberal college in the United States would say. Uh, everyone has to be honest with each other, no more lies or secret agendas. My only rule is that there shouldn't be any rules. Hmm. I mean... Truth, I think, is important, so I'm gonna go to... for everyone has to be honest. Huh. Well, I agree most times being honest is best. I tend to be pretty open and honest myself. But it is true that lies are... Uh, but is it true that lies are always a bad thing? I think you have to give people a little leeway with the truth for everyone's own good, but that's just me. Well, yeah, obviously, but... you know. Okay, that's it. That's all the questions I got for you. Do you feel like we know each other so much better now? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little time in the forest so far. I've always loved it, loved it in here. Sometimes it even feels like it's all I've ever known. I'm sure that it can't be, but nothing else sticks in my mind like this place, you know? Okay, um... I know what you mean. I woke up in a cavern not long ago and I can't remember anything before that. Wow, how mysterious. Thanks for sharing that with me. I wonder if maybe your memories are all locked away in your head somewhere waiting to be found. I hope so. I mean, that would mean I, there's a possibility I could, you know, dig in there and find them. Maybe I have hidden memories too. That's an exciting thought. Okay, uh, let's see, what's your earliest memory? Hmm, let's see. I think the first thing I can remember is the forest. Guess I'm pretty lucky considering how beautiful it is. Take all the lush, uh, take all the lush vegetation. I bet there's nothing like it anywhere else in the ocean. Maybe. The kelp, uh, kelp's always a lovely sight, swaying gently in the water, and the way the light filters down, turning green and gold as it goes to the leaves. It's enough to bring all sorts of folks to the forest, and believe me, they know how to have a good time. 
Yep, as much as I love to relax, I can never turn down a good party and there is no shortage of them here. Huge schools of fish in every color you can imagine. Everyone swimming and dancing and eating their fill. Oh, speaking of which, oh the food. It's to die for here in the forest. Every kind of soft, crunchy, savory, sweet morsel you could want. Oysters, mussels, snails, crabs and sea urchins. Okay, I think this guy's a little bit of a glutton. Yep, I eat a lot of critters around here and not just because they're so tasty. All the little kelp devourers would eat the whole forest if I wasn't here to keep them in line. It's an important job, but also a simple, relaxing one and I love doing it. <laughs> Alright. Um, sounds like you've got the ideal lifestyle here. Lifestyle here. Any chance I could take over for you? Ha! <laughs> I can't blame you. But sorry, I got here first, so I won't be getting this. Uh, so you won't be getting the job unless I have to step down, which I don't see happening anytime soon. But hey, you can always come visit. I'll even catch some sea urchins uh, for you if you want. Uh, let's see. So what if things got more difficult here? What would you do then? Mm, depends how difficult. I could probably work a little harder than I do now, but in the end, I'm not looking for a tough life, friend. What am I supposed to do if some kind of disaster happens in the forest? I'd probably just hide and wait for it to be over. Huh. Um. Well, this is the place you love the most, even if it's hard or scary, don't you want to protect it? Look, I'm not interested in messing with the natural order or getting in anyone's way. I just want to keep on living in this world, even if it's not perfect. Can we talk about something else? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm, have you seen that big pod in the moss cavern? Yeah, I have. And this might sound crazy, but I think I heard something inside it talking to me. But not a lie, only in my head. That happened to me too, actually. Turns out it was coming from the little from a little larva called Lutra. Whoa! Huh, that's, that is not what I would have expected. So, a larva, huh? They're supposed to grow into something else eventually, right? What? Uh, that means they're, they're probably going to need plenty of food, I bet. Yeah, it seems to perk up after it, uh, I led it to some ferns and spoke with it for a while. Ah, uh, I can relate. I wonder if maybe it feeds on words the same way it feeds on those ferns. Hmm. Let's see. It told me it wishes to... It could... S uh, wait, wait, wait. It told me it, could, it wishes to see what's beyond the mosque, but it's too hungry to leave its home. Whoa, I had no idea it was thinking about things like that. Alright, I got an idea. Have you seen this big... Uh, viney flower like thing over here. I call it the Tangle Heart. It's been around for a, as long as I can remember. At some point, I found a seed pod next to it. I never knew what to do with it, but now it's got me thinking. If you planted it in the moss cavern, maybe it would grow into a plant that could feed Lutra, you know? Oh, Tangle Heart seed received. Thanks, Summer. Hopefully, it ends up helping. Anytime, friend. I gotta say, I'm interested in where things are headed with this little guy. Let me know how it goes. Ooh, okay. Alright, so we got the seed. Um. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just teleported by mistake. Uh. Oh, hi, dude. No, I don't want to go here. I want to go here. Back to Lutra. And maybe I can plant the seed and feed it? Oh. Familiar one, speak thoughts together again? Hey, the furry one gave me a seed that will grow into something you can nibble on. Let's plant it. Tangle hearts. Whoa! Whoa, that was fast. Oh. Whoa, 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 dude. Hey, go easy. Don't you want to have some for later? But new plant tastes better. Better taste. And hunger returns now much more. Fern's not enough. Hunger worse with down new plant. Why am I still eat ferns? Wait, is he getting addicted to the plant? Wait. Uh, wait, I know it's hard, but if you save some for the future, you'll have more later on, right? Not favorable. 
What was that? You didn't like what I said. Are you okay? Hey, little guy. He doesn't talk anymore? Where's the plan though? Oh, here it is. Huh. He didn't like what I said, so I didn't... It, it stopped? Okay, let's talk to the furry one. Because you can see it has a little point which uh, says that I guess, you know, we have some new stuff with it. New dialogue options. Oh, hi again. How's it going? Well, not that great because I planted the tangle heart seed and it sprouted right away. Luther really seemed to like it. Oh, that's surprising. I didn't expect it to grow so fast. Glad to hear Luther is enjoying it. Everything's going well so far, huh? Well, no. I also told it not to eat the whole thing and it didn't like that. I think it's still hungry, but it won't talk to me anymore. Hmm, that worries me a bit. Hard to say whether it um, really has to have the new Tangle Heart or it's just being sulky, huh? You know what? Maybe I could talk to it. See if I can explain why it needs to go easy on the new Tangle Heart. You think that might help? Um, yeah, that's worth a shot. Maybe you'll find a way to get uh, the point across. Hey, glad you agree it's a good idea, friend. I'll pay Luther a visit soon, as, I get, as soon as I get a chance. I think we can work this out. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Amar. So now we can talk to Lutra again. I like how it teleports. It's uh, quite efficient. Oh, it talks again. Familiar one. Speak for us together again? Hey, has the furry one come to visit you lately? Yes. 41 arrived just before. 41's words gave this one new thought. Words were of futures. First future. This one eats plant with better taste fast, gains much energy. But then new plant gone, never arrives again. Too much eaten. Second future. This one eats new plant slowly, less energy for now. But better taste plant remains, less eaten. This one wants second future. Harder. Growing will be slower, but future will be better. Oh, that's nice. You're not a glutton anymore. Thoughts? I think the 41 did a good job helping you pick the best future. Agreement! Happiness! But... This one still worries. Ferns alone enough? Maybe this one searches for other new plants outside cave. Maybe something is found that familiar one could not find. Hmm. Well, I if you think you're ready, then give it a try. Look for other plants, just be careful. Many words. This one will think more. Fable will complete growing pains. Okay. I have to go now. See you around. Whoa. What's going on? While the darkness. Hmm. Who's there? No, who's who's there? Who are you? I don't have a name, so. What the? Radio? Radio static? What the fudge? Is this the creator? The creator that maybe has. Surveillance all over. Voices again. I can't move though. A squid? Kinda looks like a squid, right? You are new to this world, yes? You must be. Yours is a mind I have never felt here before. And yet... There is something familiar about you. I can help you find out who you are, if you wish. Find me in the depths, and I will tell you what I know. Uh, something tells me I don't want to go to where this thing is. 
Maybe it wants to sabotage my search or my interaction with the other creators. It doesn't want a new world to be made. Maybe that's the previous creator. Of all the gods, there is one whose power has begun to eclipse the rest. Oh, Lutra! What kind of world will Lutra create? Will it continue to eat and grow with, uh, with wild abandon? Or will you guide Lutra towards a more sustainable future? Well, we, we got it to... To not be a total glutton, so that's good. Right? A tale is being told of a world about to be born. Discover the many outcomes and collect illustrations. Like this one. And this one. Huh. That looks cute. There's still gods in this ocean you haven't met. Play the full game in 2020 to find them all. Okay, so that those are the five. Okay, so that one, the last one is the squid. Alright, so everyone, that was the well the prologue of uh, Mythic Ocean, I guess. There's um, there's more in the prologue though. There's another god that you can meet, the two that are one. The god here in the middle. We haven't talked to it yet, and there's more pages, I guess, to find there. So, uh, if you want to check out the prologue yourself and, you know, find out that god and maybe take a different route, maybe find or, or complete a different fable and not the one for Lutra, because that may be possible, then uh, you can check out the prologue of Mythic Ocean. It is available for free on Steam and on itch.io. It's available for Windows. Just check the links in the description below. Now, I gotta say, I, I like this combination of kind of visual novel with the 3D exploration in the in the ocean and I'm um, not sure how, how big and impactful your choices will be but um, but I, I kind of feel like there's gonna be th there's more to this so this is isn't just you know you're gonna talk to every single god and eventually you know, as you go back and forth, one will naturally rise. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that there's one, maybe this one, the squid? Uh, like, this world has a god already, and you have to kind of dethrone that god, maybe? And that's going to be a, some problems, it will, will lead to some problems, but, you know, we'll have to see for now. This is uh, the prologue, again, you can check it out and find out more about the world, about the creator, I guess, and... Um, you know, and about the, the third god available in the prologue. And maybe about others too, we'll have to see. So yeah, uh, Mythic Ocean prologue everyone from uh, Paralune. Check it out through the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick. And if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be actually immensely, immensely helpful if you could subscribe. Tell other people about the channel, spread the word. Check out the back catalog too, because I have tons of uh, games covered there, mostly indie games. So, uh, see, see all that there. And uh, after that, if you can, um, take half a minute to see the ways to which you can support me. They're all in the description below. You can either give me a direct donation through PayPal, or you can support me with the purchases that you make on the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store, Fanatical, all you have to do in those cases is either use an affiliate link or a creator tag. It costs you absolutely nothing extra, you don't pay more for the stuff that you buy, you just tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you, you, you spend there. Last but not least, another way to help out, download and try out the Brave Browser. The Brave Browser is an open source privacy focused browser that's based on Chromium, it has a built in ad blocker, it blocks trackers, um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's it's really cool, fun. I've uh, I've been using it since the end of January already, and it uh, replaced Chrome for me. It's become my daily driver, so I definitely recommend it. Try it out, download it to the referral link. If you end up using it, I'll get a small crypto reward. So uh, you know. Uh, check it out and 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 if you already use the brave browser then you can tip me on any video on YouTube and on any post on Twitter at cryptic hybrid you can tip me basic attention tokens you know even one is greatly appreciated um, and uh, oh uh, just quick before I forget I'm on multiple platforms so you can uh, see my videos on YouTube on BitChute and on DTube so check those out just uh, cryptic hybrid over there 
on each platform and subscribe of course if you can thanks again for watching everyone this has been mythic ocean prologue and until the next time we see each other thank you and have an awesome day